In this video, we're going to look at a technique called integration by substitution. Now, for the first couple of examples, we will be told what the substitution is. This may be given to us in the exam, but it might not. Okay, so before we start this question, I'm just going to have a little think about why we're doing this technique. Why do we have to do integration by substitution? Because if you were given an integral like this in the exam, you would look at it and say, oh, oh, we've got two functions multiplied together. So we might try and do this using integration by parts at first. The big problem with this is we can't use integration by parts because if you look at this part of the function, this x squared plus 1 is not linear. So if it's not in the form ax plus b and it's inside another function, so in this case it's like a bracket to a power, it's inside the square root, isn't it? So that's like to the power of a half. You could not integrate this. Um, so we are going to do these ones. Like you'll, you'll soon spot them once you've done a few of them, but just Try and bear this in mind as we're doing this. Like if, if you've got a function inside another function and it's not linear, you're probably going to be doing a substitution on this question. Also as well, this look at the relationship between what we've got inside, x squared plus 1. If I differentiate x squared plus 1, I'd get 2x. And this is the derivative at the front. So these form of questions where there's a derivative and there's a function inside another function are where we're going to be doing a substitution for most of them. Okay. Now the way that we do this technique of substitution is actually what we have to do with the original integral. We can't integrate this. Okay, so we couldn't integrate two x square root of x squared plus one with respect to x. So how the substitution works is we introduce a new variable. We can use any letter we want, but we normally use the letter u. If there's trigonometry involved, we might use theta. Um, so our first task is to, this original question with in the world of x's with respect to x. We need to take it into the world of u's with respect to u. So the first step, although it's an integration question, we actually differentiate. So du by dx. So if u is equal to x squared plus 1, du by dx would equal 2x. You might want to notate this for the first time you see it, because there's a, a lot going on with these examples. So first step is to differentiate. The reason that we're doing that is because we need to write this all, we need to get rid of all the x's, but we also need to remove this dx, okay? Because if we're trying to take it to the world of u, we need to get rid of the dx, we want that to be a du. So if I rearrange this, du over 2x would equal dx. So now I know what dx is in the world of u. I can write it like this. Now let's look at our integral and try and see what we can replace. So that 2x, I can't do anything with it at the moment. This thing inside the square root, I'm calling that u. So that is just the square root of u. So we could write that as u to the half. dx, we can also replace with du over 2x. You've probably never thought about this before, but that dx there is actually a multiple, like we're multiplying all this stuff by this dx. So now we need to look at what we've got here and realise that we've got a load of terms being multiplied together. And it might help you visualise this if you realise that all that stuff's on top of the fraction and this is on the bottom. Like th you could just think about it if I had like 4 times 3 times 1 over 2, like that's almost like what we've got here and it's something times something times a fraction and you could realize that that's just the same as having all that stuff on the top so it'd be like four times three times one all over two okay so we need to tidy this up and think about it as a fraction you'll notice when i write my fractions i never write like a fraction like this because it's not as easy to visualize like you want to set it out with all that stuff on top and that stuff on the bottom okay so 
Differentiate, replace the X, second step, sub into integral. Third and most important step of them all is actually to tidy stuff up. Okay, and what I mean by tidy up, like, let's look at this now and what's on top of our fraction. We've got, we could take the two out and the half out if we wanted to, but also if there's a two on top and a two on the bottom, we can cancel. And if there's an X on the top and an X on the bottom, we can cancel. And that's quite convenient for this first one. And you're actually just left with the integral of U to the half du and when you get to this point you should be pretty pleased because like what we've done is we've got rid of all the x's and we've got something we just use and notice now that this is like so much easier to integrate like that was too complicated for us to integrate this is something we can integrate so once we've got rid of all the x terms and it's just u terms then we can integrate with respect to u Add 1 to our power, divide by our new power, so if we're dividing by 3 over 2, just multiply by 2 thirds. Don't forget plus c. One of the most important steps as well is this last step. Once we've integrated, we've used the substitution, it allowed us to integrate. We have to then go back and look at the question. Like the original question didn't mention u really at all, did it? Like this was just an integral with respect to x. We've used the substitution so that we could integrate it, but the last step we need to do is actually write it back in the world of x. So that would be the same as 2 thirds u, which is x squared plus 1. It's the power 3 over 2. Plus c. So finally, write back in terms of x. Okay. Example two is the integral of ln x all squared divided by x with respect to x. Now, I'm not giving you the substitution straight away, just so you can have a look at it and try and figure it out for yourself, like what sort of stands out. And if I saw this integral, I would straight away focus on this and say, there's a function inside another function, and it's not linear. So that is my clue that I am going to be doing the substitution. So let's see what happens if we let u equal ln x. So first step, differentiate. If u is equal to ln x, when we differentiate, we get 1 over x. Remember, the reason that we're doing this is we, we need to replace this dx. So if I rearrange this, just be careful how we rearrange. Multiply both sides by dx, and you would get du equals 1 over x. dx, multiply both sides by x to get rid of the 1 over x, and you would have x du is equal to dx. So once we've figured out what dx is, now we can sub into the integral and see what happens. So ln x is u, so that's just going to be u squared divided by x, multiplied by dx, which is the same as x du. And now again, we just tidy up and we can see that quite nicely. The x terms cancel again, don't they? So we're left with the integral of u squared du. Again, I'm feeling pretty good about myself because that original integral was horrific, but this one is so much easier. So we can just integrate, we get u cubed over 3 plus c. Don't forget, replace. So u is ln x, so that would be ln x. All cubed. That bracket's important because the whole log function is being cubed. And then it's divided by 3. Plus c. Example 3 is the integral of x cubed square root x squared minus 1. Um, and again, you might just look at it and say oh, it's two things times together, could parts work, but 
but no, it wouldn't, trust me. Um, and the one thing that stands out is this function inside the other function, which is not linear. So let's see what happens if we let u equal x squared minus 1 du by the x would equal 2x so du divided by 2x would equal dx so I've been to the integral and see what happens so I've got x cubed I've got this which is u square rooted so u to the half dx is du divided by 2x and this is the first time that we're going to see the slight extra bit happen okay so when it comes to the most important step I said which was tidying up I think what I'm going to do here is this constant divided by 2 I can take it outside it's on the, so that'll be a half outside you do want to do that as you're going because some of these will get quite complicated then looking at what you can do, you've got x cubed divided by x. So inside that integral, x cubed divided by x, we're left with x squared e to the half du. Please don't try and integrate this. Like you need before you can do this substitute, uh, before you can integrate by substitution, you need to get rid of all of the x's and write it all in terms of u's. Now, if this happens when the you're still stuck with some x terms inside. All you need to do is go back to the original substitution. Because remember, this substitution here is like the link between the x world and the u world. Like, we know that u is equal to x squared minus 1. And we need to replace x squared, don't we? So u plus 1. Must equal x squared and if we do that we end up with an integral just with u is in so that would be u plus one neither brackets the two terms u to the half du just be careful with this now we, we, we're almost there but we've still got a, a potential couple of stumbling blocks like we've now replaced all the x's but can we integrate this and if you think about it, we've actually just got a load of fun um, index form powers of u, haven't we? We've got u to the 1, we've got u to the half, and we've got 1. And if we just expand this bracket, we can get something which we can integrate. So if we do u times u to the half, that's u to the 1, isn't it? So that when you add the powers, when you multiply, it'll be u to the power 3 over 2. 1 times u to the half, which would be u to the half. So now we've got it in a form that we can integrate. I'm going to open up a bracket because this is all times by a half. Add 1 to the power, so that would be 5 over 2. Divide by, so multiply by 2 fifths. Use the half, add 1 to the power, so that would be 3 over 2. Divide by 3 over 2, so times by 2 thirds plus c. And then the last step, obviously, is to write that in terms of x. So that could equal, if we multiply this out as well, that would be 1 fifth u, which is x squared minus 1. to the power 5 over 2. Plus 1 third u, which is x squared minus 1. to the power 3 over 2. Plus see okay so you're ready for exercise three um, it's actually split into four sections so like ranging in difficulty the actual questions themselves they don't want you to integrate it's just like it's a, it's just about using the substitution to go from the x world into the u world you could obviously take it one step further once you've got it in terms of u you could integrate um, some of those questions in the hard and the very hard are obviously <laughs> very hard um, so don't feel like you need to do all of those questions guys i mean just try and get a mix of a couple from from each section 
until you're feeling confident with the substitution technique. And then on the next video, we'll look at how to use limits and a couple of different type of substitutions with some trigonometry involved. Okay, thanks guys.